Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I am back with you today to share how I planned this week in my classic happy planner. There's last week, my rainbow week. Oh, how I love a good rainbow. Anyway, this is the This Is Your Year happy planner. It's super neutral. It's pretty much only black and white with some shades of gray. And I had it last week in my deluxe cover, The Plan a Happy Life. I'm sort of obsessed with yellow right now, and I think it's pretty much 100% thanks to that cover. I'm sharing with you the sticker package or kit, I'm sorry, from the Planner Society kits. I subscribed in January, and for January I was only able to get the stickers and not the actual kit, and so I'm working with those. I love florals. They're so pretty, though I'm not going to lie to you, I don't really know what to do with them. So there's going to be kind of a learning curve here for me with these types of kits because they're absolutely beautiful, but they're really outside of my comfort zone. And so I'm going to work with them the best that I can. And what I figure is that the first couple of times I do, it'll be a little difficult, but that I will move right into it and be able to do it just fine. Now, as you can see for Monday morning, Monday morning, I added a quarter box and then was able to, or I guess a kind of a half box, right? And then put that little today header right there. I kind of liked it because it's not the type of thing that I would ordinarily use, but it gives really sort of that definition and really makes it stand out. And that's good because it's the first day back to school for my two younger sons. So I could definitely use that. I used a simple bullet point to notate cleaning, which is cute because it's got the little vacuum. And then these are some new stickers that I picked up from Planner Kate. And they've got like that right there is a quarter box and it's got the script at the top, which says practice. And what's awesome about that is that's not something that I have to write each time on the stickers. Now don't get me wrong, I will absolutely still use stickers where I write practice on them myself, but it's a nice little change. Now to add to that particular sticker, I'm just adding a little teardrop sticker to write my son's name that has the practice. So I often see how people are asking how to use those teardrop type stickers. And that right there is the perfect example of how I ordinarily use it. Just a word or two that I need to add to a particular event. I'm already finished with planning Monday, which the joke is actually kind of on me because I did forget an event, and so later on I will have to go back and add it, and it's pretty typical, am I right? So that's one of the things that I like to leave a little bit of white space, not only just because I like the way that that looks and it really helps me stay organized because I like the clutter-free approach, but because I often forget things when I'm planning and will need to add them later. And so if I have a little bit of extra white room, I can do that. Now for Tuesday, I'm adding a quarter box sticker or a half box sticker, excuse me, from Chrissy Ann Designs. And her stickers have that vinyl thing going on and so they're very glossy so you need to use a permanent pen on those and I use a pilot permanent pen but the tip of it is just like an ultra fine sharpie so you could absolutely use those and pick those up at Target or wherever you pick up such type office supplies. Now I'm using the Planner Kate dinner stickers across the bottom and then also filling in my to-dos. Now I had kind of given myself a little bit of creative license this week and I was going to kind of move around my to-do list a little bit throughout the page and see how I liked that in terms of would it sort of jumpstart my creativity and made me think of things in a different way. But it didn't really work out for me this week because what I had kind of thought was that I would stick to the boxes for my activities and events. And turns out, well, most of my activities events happen in the morning and the afternoon. So the evening box is really the one that I have left open. So go figure, right? The one week I think I'll change it up and I don't really feel like I can. Anyway, for Monday or Wednesday, I am just layering two stickers together, a yellow circle, and then that yellow school bus where I just wrote on top of it, late start. And I think I've explained to you all before that I use the school bus because A, it's really cute, and B, I feel kind of like a school bus with all the different stops I make on Wednesday mornings when I'm driving kids to school. Now on the bottom, you know that I don't like to use the same stickers over and over again. I feel like it's kind of boring and I like the using all kinds of different variety for the eclectic look that it gives, but I figured it was actually kind of cool to use the same in a row just twice and that it would give a lot of maybe kind of a pattern 
a little bit. And so I'm, and I'm not going to lie, I really love those clipboards too. So it really was kind of a win-win. Now I've put down the half box and then I also use that little push pin because it's just kind of a reminder, like a tie of your, a little string around your finger. And then down for the to-do list, I'm putting t a today sticker and mostly because I don't know what to do with the today stickers otherwise. And then that super cute little decorative to-do sticker that was in that small sheet of decorative stickers. One of the things that I like best about these stickers is that they are both functional and pretty. So for example, if you're looking at those half boxes, they have floral around the outside, so they're just gorgeous. They have little added icons in the corners and things like that. So they just really add that decorative flair, but they're completely 100% functional and I could still write all of the things that I need to add on top of them. Now I added that little sticker, it's like a border type sticker down there at the bottom and I and completely love it. That pattern right there is what threw me over the edge for the January stickers, the gray background and the florals. It's just gorgeous. Now as you can see for Saturday, I'm going to layer the clipboard with one of these quarter boxes. And what's cool about that is that, that really kind of lends itself to my original planning style, which is the layering of the stickers and making them work together. And it actually ends up being a great way to notate and to add sort of like a title to that sticker and really makes it stand out too, which I'm really excited about because it's able to really draw my eye in and make me take a look at that. Now, as you can see, I'm also using another one of those planner, Kate, with the practice word. And I figured it's nice to give some of these new things a try, which is really pretty much everything on this page. Right there, that's a look at the pen I'm going to use for my script right down there, in there at the beginning. But anyway, the thing that I'm liking about using a whole bunch of these stickers initially is that it really just gives me a good idea as to how I feel about them and if they're going to work out for me and if I can incorporate them into my regular planning. Now, I just used my brush lettering for the words out, and many of you asked me about my brush lettering, and I'm so sorry. I'm just so not an expert. I'm so not very good at it, and I don't feel like I have anything to teach you. But Anyway, those pens that I use in the Happy Planner don't bleed through. They have the slightest bit of shadowing, but not a ton. And they are perfect in terms of being able to write the correct size and the correct scale in the Happy Planner. I'm just going to add a few decorative elements now, and I will still leave plenty of white space to add different events and activities that either pop up during the week or that I have forgotten, because let's be clear, I forget things all the time, which is why I use a planner in the first place. So I'm just going to add a few more decorative things, and I will be completely finished. These border strips are a really great way to get a little bit of that decorative flair and then not have a ton left over. Also, like sometimes washi, like you use a few times, and I mean, you're kind of done with it. And so that's what these border stickers are really great for. Now that's it for me for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed my video, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked it. And also if you have any questions, please leave it in the box below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.